hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you demo about sending push notification using firebase admin sdk in my recent video i just shown you demo about uh, implementing push notification for the android and ios platform so in that i'm using this uh, legacy version code to sending push notification so if i click here it just sending notification but i am using this uh, legacy version url so we need to uh, use uh, this we need to migrate from http to http version 1 for this sending post notification so before like uh, in my this code i am using this url so instead of that we need to use like authorization token to send push notification so if we use uh, admin sdk then that this library automatically going to handle the token but like if we don't use this uh, admin sdk then we uh, need to manually request for the token and that token we need to pass in authorization barrier and after that it just going to send the push notification so let's uh, install this admin sdk in our project Okay. so just uh, right click on your project and click on manage nuget packages to install firebase admin sdk so here just search for firebase admin sdk and install that in your project okay for once it installed here now instead of legacy code i'm just going to bright firebase admin sdk code so before that let me just uh, download uh, that admin sdk json so for that here in a firebase console uh, just click on project setting and then click on service account so from here you can just generate the private key and that private key json i already downloaded so that json you can add here in a project resources row folder so let me add that json so this admin sdk i'm just going to add here in this row folder and after that you can just read that json file here so let me add code related to reading json file So I'm just going to use open app packet file async and in that I can just add this file name admin sdk json with the extension so it's just going to read the contain of this file Okay, so this just uh, going to be the admin SDK and this admin SDK we can just uh, pass to initialize Firebase admin SDK. So for that I'm just going to check like if Firebase messaging dot default instance is null, then I'm just going to Firebase. Here in a credential, I'm just going to pass in JSON format. So, like that way, it is going to initialize this Firebase messaging instance. So, when this page is open, like initialize, that time I'm just going to call this read Firebase admin message. Okay, and here on a counter click, I'm just going to now comment this code and 
new code I'm just going to add here for sending this notification. Okay, so here I can use now Firebase messaging dot default instant dot send a sync or send all the sync method. So here send a sync, I can send notification to single device token and using send all the sync, I can send notification to multiple device token. So let me just use send a sync and here I just need to pass a message object. So let me create one object of type message and here I can pass token then notification in that title and message body and here in data if you want to pass some custom data then you can just pass it here now this object I'm just going to pass here in send a single matter now let me run the application and let's see it's sending notification to this device token or not Okay, so here on the click of counter button, it is calling firebase messaging dot send async method. And here notification also is easy. So using send async method, uh, I just going to send notification to single device token. But if you want to send notification to multiple device token, then you can just use send all async matter. And here you just need to create message list object of message type and just fill that object list of object like this way so like uh, if you store all the device token in a uh, server side then you just need to call web api that is going to uh, have the list of device token and just use for each loop and just uh, fill that notification detail like title body then if you want to pass custom data and here here you can just pass the custom data and also like the for the ios if you want to uh, just uh, display some badge count and some sound related configuration then you can just uh, use here apns new apns config and in that you just need to uh, see a like batch count so what are the batch count you want to display then some custom data so if you want to pass custom data here in this apn eps object then you can pass here so here in custom data i just need to uh, pass string and object format data so here i just created android notification object of type strings uh, like dictionary type uh, string and string so instead of that i'm just create, going to create another ios notification object and that's just going to be here it just accept accept string and object format data so here i just pass string and object Okay, so this iOS notification object I can pass here in custom data. And here now I can use this message list in send all sync matter. Now let me try to run up. So right now it's just going to send notification to the single device because I just added uh, one message object. So if you have multiple device token, then you can just fill that in message list and just call send all a sync matter. And one more thing like this send all a sync matter at a time uh, send notification to 500 device token. So if you want to send notification to more than 500, then you just need to either use for each loop or some background service like uh, first send 500 and next time again send 500 token. Like that way, you need to handle. Okay, so on the click of click new button, now that notification also is using send all the same matter.
Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.